Rap Moto are proud sponsors of Commentary Corner. Located at 5 Lisburn Road, Moira, the former Motor Shocks building, this is the place to go for something different. Only open two hours a week to the public, Wednesday 6pm till 8pm, everyone is very welcome to drop in and check out the weekly change in stock ranging from mopeds to fire blades. Davey from Brap Moto is looking for all types of motorbikes, vintage, classic, sports bikes, to damaged end of life bikes for dismantling. Also job lots of bike spurs. Top cash prices paid, in particular they are looking for good clean road bikes of any age. Brap Moto is proud to support many racers on the roads and the short circuits. Yeah, we've started, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And may as well introduce the man himself, the legend. <clears throat> Mr. Todd, how are you, sir? Doing the best. Good man. It was fantastic to get you down here. The pleasure's mine. Yeah, and still her, plenty of it. <laughs> well, sometimes I like a Donald Trump. The Donald job. Trump. <laughs> I remember saying you used to have real long hair and you were like, you were the man that everyone wanted to be, especially on a motorbike. Pretty boy Todd. Pretty boy Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking there, your, your son obviously. Uh, Shane, uh, doing very well in the the comedy or comedy side of things. Yeah, and, he know. works hard. Yeah. He's about the hardest worker out there. Yeah, yeah, do it, all the tours and he's got a yeah. tour coming up, hasn't he? Or? Uh, yeah, it starts I think September. Right, okay. It goes on probably December. Yeah, but I thought I would. I messaged Shane just to see, just all in right. case he didn't see your phone or anything, you know. Yeah. And, I wasn't too sure, but I seen the clip of you on his podcast, and I thought I need to get because I've been wanting to get you on for a long time, and I, I never got round to it, you know. And I thought, um, my dad said it. I'm not sure whether you know we'd be up for it or not, so I just left it. And then I seen you on Shane's podcast, and I thought I just jumped at it straight away. <laughs> You're just right. Well, I wouldn't have been here only he got me on his. Yeah, but he was a he's a twat. He said everybody. <laughs> You know, uh, he said, my dad, he's so nervous. Yeah. And so I was. You know, uh -huh. I wouldn't have been on a podcast. Ah, no. Can't string two words together. <laughs> but he got me on his Brilliant. and said, oh, the bit, you know, bit, you were acting a big fella. Uh -huh. Saying to me, you want to be on the podcast and all that. <laughs> Did I hell? No. Because uh, he says, oh, you've been bossing to get on it for yeah, a long time. Yeah, but... balls. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one pushing for you to get yeah. on. Brilliant. It, did, it was very good. I must admit, I Put watched. It okay. Yeah, I watched most of it. Like I asked him before I went on. I said, "Can you give me any tips?" Uh -huh. He said, "No." No. I said, "Just give me, you know, give me an idea of what to expect." He uh -huh. says, "No, just be yourself." Oops. Otherwise, people think it's rehearsed. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what we try and do. You know, just sit down, and chill. Yeah. Have a chat, like that's what it's about. And as I say, ours isn't our setup isn't as a professional. That's what his is, but. We'll try I'll let you off with it. Ah, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> now, we're obviously we're here to talk about motorbikes and your career. What a career you have had! Absolutely, ups and downs. Ups, <laughs> not mostly as, downs. Yeah, well, not as many downs as what you would think. People think, you know, that, that is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, always jumping off a bike. Aye. It's not the case. No, hardly but ever. Is, to prefer, I've had a lot of crashes. Mm -hmm. And probably a hell of a lot more than yours, but or than you. But you, yours were spectacular. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I never got away with it. You know, the places where I came off just did road racing. Yeah. Places I a lot of times when I came off, boys walked away from it. The same yeah. place, not me. Is that right? I got mangled. Just bad lands, or just because? Well, you were no, so I didn't perfect. Fast. I didn't. You know, yeah, I don't think you could practice that. Not because, <laughs> not because it's hard. Uh, no, just bad luck. Yeah, just yeah. And you were going at obviously such a, a pace. They were usually, you know, yeah. sort of. You were always at the point end, weren't you? Yeah. Like, constantly uh, fighting for the win. And well, uh, I wasn't. A, I didn't get many wins, but mm -hmm. um, you were there. Yeah, thereabouts. Like trying my best. And. I've seen photographs of you jumping the bikes, you know, at the temple or something. Uh, oh my word! You, by far, I've never seen anyone go as high in my life or as far, you know. <laughs> because uh, 
if it wasn't if it wasn't him a chance of a winning, yeah. That's that's what I want to do. Yeah. Jump some wheelies. Brilliant. You know, as in the element. Just enjoy it, yeah. have fun. Yeah, because um I, before I started racing, I did it in the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, we all do up and down. Yeah, stupid things. Yeah. Um but it was just I was mad before I started racing. <laughs> you know. Is that why you got into racing then or because it was either out or end up in a cell? Yeah, it's uh, we all I think because people do it, you mm -hmm. know, that start racing. They started on the road. Yeah. And uh, I started in left school at fifteen uh -huh. on a Friday, started Monday in a place called Hen Hills Engineering Works. Right, okay. Who yeah. Hollywood Road. Yeah. And they were the Suzuki dealer quickly. This is when nineteen sixty five. Right, okay. And uh, so I, I never no interest at all in bikes. I was only fifteen. Yeah, yeah. You know, and there wasn't that many about. Mm -hmm. And uh, started as a motorcycle mechanic. Right, okay. And uh, with the great guy there, Cam Boyd, right. taught me all I knew, yeah. which isn't much. And. Uh, <laughs> So I got into, there was a guy that worked there down below with us mm -hmm. in the body shop as well. There was the motorbikes down below yep. in the body shop. Uh, Harry McQuaid, well-known right. guy yeah. in what we called in those days scrambling. Oh, right. Okay. was motocross then. Yeah, motocross, yeah. And uh, Harry was a top scrambler. And uh, that's how I got into bikes. Yep. We were uh, the Suzuki Works team. Mm -hmm. Came in, I think, 67, 68, something right. like that. Yes, day. yes. And I, when you say works team, uh, you know what? An old Bedford J.U. Van. Yes. That's yeah. a day that they were. A couple that of every, those. Everyone nearly had in the yes, paddock, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they were in the showroom. They were based in the showroom, but they were working on the bikes yeah. down, the, down below. Yeah. And uh, I'm a, I could say, I'm the only guy in Ireland that's rode the one two fives. Right. Uh, me and my friend John Allison yep. used to go in. I were fifth, were sixteen or seventeen then. We would go in early uh, to put all the cars out. Yeah. There's a chance for us to drive. You know, putting yep. the cars out and parking the them. And, yes. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we were first in. Yep. We had the keys. Yeah. Pushing each other up and down. And the one two fives. That's, a, that's when I when I rode them. Yeah, brilliant. and uh, I think I nicked two. They had a bucket of uh, spark plugs. A uh -huh. bucket, right? And like two. used, used spark yeah, plugs. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, like you say, works team. Mm -hmm. As I say, J U vans. Yeah. Oh, and she just changing everything all the time. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Now we were talking about your crashes and whatnot. And I see you have some notes here with you. You were talking earlier, just briefed on it about your your memory and wouldn't be so good. Or yeah, and that's down to the the crashes. The yeah. Um, when I come off, I think it was uh, three or four times at concussion. Yeah. And the last time was up at Dundrod ninety one. Mm -hmm. uh, heart stopped. Uh, right. The heart stopped. Uh, broke my neck and all all other stuff. And was uh, you, you were dead. I, I turned blue. Jeez. They wouldn't let my brother Colin uh -huh. into the va into the ambulance. Uh, the, the police were taken. What do you call it? Oh, um, like photographs and stuff yes, and yeah, evidence. Yeah. So. Um, Fred McStorley. Yep. Doctor Fred. Doctor Fred. Yeah. Got me going. Jeez. And uh, I got the day, got the royal. Mm -hmm. They got me going again. Right. So uh, it it was all those. Yeah. Like uh, any time I come off it, sometimes I was knocked out, conscious. Right. Yeah. You know, it's Just, caught up with me. Yeah. And that was was that the one you broke? How many bones? Unfortunately, unfortunately, I broke over thirty bones. That's including doubles. Is that in the one crash? No. Or? Uh, I think... Three or four different things? I think three or four, four is the most, I think. For that's sake. Um, but the, like, I remember at um, Dundrod again, mm -hmm. I think it was, uh, as far as I know, it was my first race. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, I think I was maybe 18 at the time. Right. And those days it was the pudding basins, goggles, yeah. and, uh, you know, a hanky across the, right, okay. the mouth. Yeah. And uh, I was I was out in the grid. The first time was in the 250 Suzuki. Yeah. Uh, sat in the grid and crapping myself. Right. I looked around me, all men. Yeah. They all seemed to be all big men, black leathers. Yeah. The noise, the, the ground was shaking, uh, you know, because it was there Maggie's four strokes yeah. as well. Talk about shitting yourself. Oh, right? gee. <laughs> and whenever I was uh, 17, 18, mm -hmm. I probably looked about 12. Right, okay. You know, and I felt it. Yeah. And uh, that was it. First, that was my first, first road race, I think, my first yeah. accident. My first road race was uh, Dundraw as well. It was like... Oh, we'll push you in the deep end, you know. Aye. First road race, go to the fastest road race in the world. Fair enough. <laughs> but being brainless, <laughs> I didn't go around the track. You didn't? So you didn't even know what way it went? No. Well, I knew they're all sitting there going that way. Yeah. So I joined them and uh, away we went. And I was coming around uh, through the quarries. Yeah. The last left-hander before the start and finish. Yeah. And jumped out of gear. Oh no! And uh, you know, if it goes into neutral, you just uh, Aye, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing to keep going. The road. And I saw trees. Yeah. And I thought, uh, I'm an atheist now, but believe mm. in God. Then. Yeah. I says, please God, don't let me die. I won't. I won't curse again. Right. Okay. Because yeah. things you think of. Yeah. People, it's like it happens in a blink of an so eye. So quick. But yeah. it's slow motion mm -hmm. when it's happening. Because your brain doesn't want it to happen. Yeah, well, well, and you, people think you tense up. You're not. You're just like a rag doll. Yeah. But I saw the trees, and I thought I'm going to get killed. Yeah. I would have had to been doing 500 miles an hour. I still wouldn't reach the trees. <laughs> you know, they, were, they were. They were way they were miles away. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, it, first time, you know, I think coming off in the road race, I'm going to get uh, killed. Yeah. So uh, I ended up in somersault at the usual. In the bog, yeah, and uh, the bike came down a couple of feet from me right. on his feet. So uh, that was that. And funny one, uh, I'd say I don't remember anything uh, and whatever happened. Yeah. I got a broken collarbone, right? And uh, I remember waking up in in the pits. It used to be a caravan there. Yeah, I was the First aid. Like the medical center? Yes, the medical yeah. center. Yeah. Uh, rudimentary. Yeah. <laughs> right. So in those days, everybody, anybody came in to get carted off there. Uh -huh. There was a big crowd in the pits. Right. They, all they were all round up to yeah. see who. And uh, I come out and uh, they said, you, need, you maybe need to go to the hospital. Okay. Uh, get a collarbone sorted. Yep. So I walked out. I walked down the steps and lights out. I just faced down. Because of the pain or? No, I just, whatever it was, concussion or. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, just blacked out again. Yeah. Uh, I woke up. I woke up on a slab in the Royal. Slab. And usually every young man's dream, I opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. Opened my eyes. And I was bollock naked. There was two <laughs> nurses watching me. <laughs> And uh, I play. I, clo I closed my eyes again. Played possum. Yeah. I was, you know, I was dying. Yeah. To they were watching me because I'd fallen in the bog. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you uh, just lying there, oh, keeping an eye on them. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> you know, as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. As a kid. Scumbag. Let's see. And that was. Uh, that was your two. The two hundred. I was a 250, yeah, two, I started with a 250. So, uh, 250 is okay. okay, yeah. Lovely wee bike. Oh, yeah, still smart. racing them, still so in the classics, yeah. I. Yeah. And you went on to then, you rode a 200 and a 350 as well, didn't you? Yeah, um, got rid of the 250, no, Frank McConnell. McConnell. Well, Frank was a 200 man. Okay, yeah. And Marilyn. Yes, yeah. They sponsored in the club. Right. And they bought the bike off me. And uh, I got a uh, 200 off my of mate, Stephen Smith. Yeah. He sponsors Scott Swan. Oh, yes. I'll sp yeah. sponsor him. And uh, I got into the 200s. Well, I couldn't afford, in those days, it was a 
an affordable ah, yeah. class. It was the most, yeah. yeah. And you could be competitive with them yeah. too. Funny, was Scott Swan, he's racing there today. So that. Uh, I've seen sort of part of the race there, and then I just turned it off because I'll watch it later, but he, he was up the front anyway. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. But uh, going Dundraud to the other road races then, that was just you hooked after Dundraud? Oh, yeah. I, I started in short circuits, mm-hmm. and uh, then I stopped there, and I just wanted... Just, just wanted, wanted to, to go road, road racing, racing yeah. Right. Something like myself, because we only have, well, the race I could do, one, two, five, yeah. and stuff. And then, like, as the racing went on, they started racing cars at Agade, and more so. So it was ruining the track, and then we just ended up, the bikes quit. So all we really had was Kurgisland Bishop's Court, same as what we have now. And that was every bloody weekend, I thought, you know what, I just want to go road racing. Like my uncle Trevor, he uh, raced, yes, my dad yeah, raced, yeah. you know. So I was going, I was at road races from, I was in a pram, you know. Aye. So it was, I was it's always, I, yeah. I was always going to go road racing, like, you know. But I was saying, I, I could do it when I was doing short circuits, the best of a lot. Yep. You know. By far. You know, you had a day's racing. Mm-hmm. You, you were in and out. Yeah. No, it was and it was good, it was oh, good it was racing. Brilliant. Like, yeah. And it was a brilliant re track. I uh-huh. always said it was like a rider's it was a rider's track. Yeah. Um we had Nuts Corner as well, but uh, like, nothing compared with I could do it. Oh right. fantastic, right. You got oh, value for money. Yeah. You, know, you got maybe three, four races. Yeah, that's right. right the close to club meetings and stuff yeah. and the, the Eagle days and all of them. Back when racing was yeah enjoyable. Man, man, man. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say yeah. that, but <laughs> so we're talking about the temple and scaries. I've seen photographs of you at scaries, and I was born in the wrong era. The racing back then must have been phenomenal. Uh, it's a well life. Oh, that's mm-hmm. all you know. That's all we knew. Yeah. yeah. Um, the scaries and the, the temple, all the road races. Um, it was like a Grand Prix. Yeah. You know, it was like going to a Grand Prix. Like a festival. Yeah. Nearly. And just a way of life. Yeah, and it was just like a, a big circus, wasn't it? Oh. Just moving from one weekend to the next. Yeah, and you saw, uh, you knew in the, the before the season started what mm-hmm. you were, what you where were, you would be at a certain date. So, yes, yeah. You know, and you'd be there. Brilliant. You know, every single year, brilliant. Fantastic. Um, three fifty then, steel frame, wealthy. Yeah. Wolfie McAvoy. Um, he's a smart cookie. Smart, smart I cookie. Was, I was lucky I fell in with yeah. with Wolfie. How did that happen? I had a the clock sh- a place called The Clock Shop right. sponsored me. Uh-huh. And the great Davy Woods. Yes. I He helped me as he helped everybody. Yeah. He, uh, I was saying, I'm, I'm looking to... Uh, write the sponsors, and uh, he did a, a wee letter for me. Okay. And I sent it to different people in the clock shop. Yeah. Uh, they came in for me, and it was like a works writer. Yeah, brilliant. Bought me bikes, spurs. Right. Uh, transporter, leathers. Uh, that was fantastic. That's sick. And so we started that, but in the first, I think the first year, mm-hmm. Um, well, the bike wasn't paid for. It right. Was, uh, on HP. Okay. They were paying for it. Yeah. Remember, we went to uh, Cookstown. Mm-hmm. Well, the first race was, uh, what do you call that? Northwest. Aye, Northwest, yeah. And never been on a, a 350. Right. And uh, so, yeah, we well, got behind. Uh, Ray McCullough, my idol, yep. and yep. everybody's. And I come up behind Raymond, mm-hmm. and I said, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> I said, "I tell you, I could pass him, yeah. you know, in the slipstream." I said, "What, what am I <laughs> behind Raymond?" Yeah, you know, and I said, "What do I do?" So I pulled out, <laughs> passed him. This is going into Korean. That's when it went right into Korean. Uh, no, I've I've done that. And, before, uh-huh. but this is when they had the magic roundabout. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So I passed Raymond, mm-hmm. 
And I thought, here we go. <laughs> and I started to break. Yeah. But I braked far too early. I braked that early. I had to accelerate <laughs> to get to the corner. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, that's where I was. Brilliant. The clue. Brilliant. But I got wealthy. That bike I went to Cookstown. Mm -hmm. And it must have been in the B group. Yeah. And uh, first lap. Uh, we're all bunched mm -hmm. and I was second right and came around I, I, can't, I don't know the name of places mm -hmm. and uh, it would come around a, a blind corner and it was banked high banks on yeah. each side and a very narrow part of the road mm -hmm. and there was a boy on his bike lying there and nowhere to go because it's that that narrow so I went I saw a bit of grass uh -huh. but it was a shuck oh and no once I put the wheel in it disappeared yep and I went over the top of it. It came over and got my legs. Yeah. And uh, just I was I was squealing, mm -hmm. you know, the, the pain. But I lifted my head, and I was down about two feet. Uh huh. Jeez. So I lifted my head and I was level with the road. Uh huh. And I saw all I saw was flames, black smoke, Jeez. flames. And I said, Christ, I've I've killed everybody. Mm. Cause I couldn't remember the boy going down. Yeah, yeah. You know, I thought I have, I've killed everybody. Yeah. I put my head down, started squealing like a pig, Shit. banshee. Yeah, yeah. Thinking I've killed everybody. And um, what had happened was, first guy came off. Uh, him and his bike were laying there. My bike had went after after it came out of the bank. It skittled everybody. Okay. You know, because we're all bunched up. Yeah. Full tanks of petrol. Uh huh. Oh, and sick. six of us went down. Oh no! And when I lifted my head out of the out of all the black smoke, mm -hmm. someone ran out of it in a ball of flame, and not just licking flame, yeah. a complete ball of flame. What? And I just I screamed. Yeah. And it was uh, it's like something out of a horror movie. Oh Jesus! Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't remember his name. Well known guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently, when uh, as I say. Six bikes went down, yep. full tanks of petrol. The road went on fire. Jesus. But he was in the middle of that and he jumped up. And because he had his full face on, yep. he was in a ball of flame. Now he was running down the road yeah. because all he could see is flames. Just flames. Uh, and Marshall jumped him, got him down. Yep. And uh, got the fire out. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's wild. And they. The road went on fire, the banks went on fire, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it was called, called the Cookstown Sizzler. Right. It was in the front pages. Jesus. You saw uh, Raymond, all the top boys, yep. have the smoke, you know, because they come round mm -hmm. the next lap, and the road was closed, yeah. obviously. And they get the fire brigade mm -hmm. to throw chains over them, Jesus over the Christ. bikes to pull them apart. Yeah. And uh, my bike went down the road like gravy, like everybody else. Right? It's brand new. Burnt to crisp. Uh, um, so uh, I was up, but sorry, uh, I got in with wealth because I lost that bike. Yeah. And I got the the makings, the clock shop, uh, the, the guy that sponsored me, he was into cars. Okay. Old cars, uh, classic cars. He gave me a car mm -hmm. to sell. And with that, I was able to get bits and pieces right you know to build the bike back yeah, up yeah and uh but i think he was done with with racing yeah so i was at a race uh, i think it was a town there was a guy called uh kenny can't remember the name yeah. and uh i said to him i knew he just did short circuits yeah i was talking to him and he had a great 250. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, uh, it said on who sponsored him, Wolfie McAvoy. Yeah. And I was telling him, you know, I was looking a bike for the uh, the roads. For the roads, yeah. And he said, um, I'll ask him. And he was he was quitting then. Right, okay. And uh, went up to see, Wolfie got in touch with me. And, mm -hmm. Went up to see him. He's a self-employed mechanic and worked in Dolan's town. And uh, he gave me the bike. Yeah, you know, I mean, the bike. Uh, but unfortunately, 
I only got a year out of it because um, the new bikes were coming in. Oh, the, yeah. What do you call it? Uh, H's. Right, yeah. So they're, they're power valve or something? Yeah, were they a G, the first no, one? No, I think I, yeah. I had a G. Yeah. And the next one was completely different model. Yeah. And it wasn't any faster, but it accelerated. It was a complete... It was like more a, rideable. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said... Uh, Wolf, Wolf, Wolfie said we'll make it into 350 and yeah. he got barrels and got pipes made up for it and that was it brilliant you know? we we actually have well we had that engine yes because Wolfie did we buy we bought a bike no we didn't I think we bought our we have a TZ 350 but it's a spawning frame yes with the aluminium frame and pretty sure I'm not sure whether it's a bike but we definitely had the engine. Aye. So we put Wilfie's, it was your bike. He sold us the engine. So took the engine out of it and put it into our spawning frame. Yeah. It was, a, it's a G engine. Well, so we, it, everybody said, you know, it's a Wilfie's bike, mm -hmm. but it was like a trigger, you know, when <laughs> yeah. he's brush. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> you know, that type of thing. Yeah. You know, Triggers it was complete, brush. Yeah. It was completely different when, Whenever you got it, ah, uh, yeah, you it know, wasn't. You made your own. It's the same. It was now, the only yeah. engine. The engine was the only thing. Yeah, yeah, it's the same now. Like it's, there's bits of everything Aye. on that three five. You know yourself. You it's a work of art. Oh, the way it's the way it. Yeah, thanks very much. We're hoping to get it out again uh, this year. Do a few track days or something, you know. But unfortunately, have no time to race it now. But Aye. beautiful machine. It is beautiful. But and your the one you wrote it was steel. You just yeah. frame, didn't you? Yes, it, it was. was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it yes, was. it was. It was, it was, yeah. I think it had an alloy swing arm. That's right. That was it. That's right, aye. And sometimes they changed the headstocks and all on them, didn't they? Aye. Yeah. Fantastic. So, the 350, did you go any bigger than the 350? No, no I had a ride on Randall Game, mm. I remember. Mm -hmm. Randall can't remember. No, that's uh, well, no, you do know him. Uh -huh. He has an RG and he got it out of Kirkus. And, yeah. You yeah. know, and uh, it, was, it was like a, an armchair sitting in an armchair. Sorry, compared uh, to. <laughs> I was a sooner had a bigger bag. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, enjoyed the 200s and the 125s, yeah. but I'd rather had a bigger bag. Yeah. No 750, you know. No. Did you ever go on a 750? No. No. I would love one. In those days, the grid was full of 500 RGs, mm -hmm. Yamahas. It was coming down with RGs. Yeah. You wonder where the money come from. I know. Madness, like. Unreal. And now there's probably f maybe three or four in the country. You know. Aye. It's crazy money. But I would, my dad, he had an RG500. The, Didn't know that. No, it was a road bike. All right. Lucky, uh, lucky strike one. Yes. And like then, I only started racing. I think I was racing the 600 at the time. But he bought it off GS Motorcycles for like three grand. Big though then. And it wasn't even that long ago. Like, what? Well, what am I? I'm 33 now. I was about 17. And three and a half grand or something he bought it for. And he sold it a year later for five. And it was for sale a couple of years ago for 28. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. Like, what What sort of money would an RG back then? Probably, it, like a race bike, probably. Is it? Is eight that sounds stupid? No, it would be more than 8,000, wouldn't it? Is that right? Uh, For probably 12 grand, but... Is that right then? I know boys That's went through two of them in the season. Oh, crazy! You know, rode off. Oh. As you say, I don't know where the bloody the money comes from. <laughs> <laughs> what, um... What was your favourite track then? I think I know it. Probably a temple. Yep. <laughs> uh, see, if all I wanted to do was jump, yeah. uh, and I say wheelie, mm -hmm. because I knew uh, in those days I wasn't in for a win mm -hmm. most of the time. Yeah. And uh, I knew at the jumps, every you know the Hollywood boys. Yeah. You know all my mates would be there. Yeah. And everybody went to the jumps. Yeah. But not many people went to the most fearsome 
jump in this country. The roller coaster. Right, yeah. There's hardly anybody at the roller. That was the most fearsome Is that right? jump. When you're coming up to it, you know, you know, there's a dip and then you go up the, yep. the, uh, a steep rise. Mm -hmm. All you see is the sky. And I knew I could take it. I could take it twice. As, I just wanted, uh, you know, to go as high and as far as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but you knew if you went too fast, it was that high that the air, yeah. the air could, like I had two times. Yeah. You know. It left the front? Yes. In the air you know, it, got, it got under the, under the fern. Under the fern. Oh, uh, and I have no chance then. You know. But that came from uh, whenever I had road bikes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would, before I was uh, racing, I was scrambling. Yeah. But I couldn't, uh, I had an arm pump. Yeah. And uh, I had prepared. But I was doing on the road, because uh, I'm from Hopman. Well, I'm from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Used to go up a place called Craig Outlet. Up, up, the up the hills, yeah. Yes. And I remember there was uh, 28 guys up. Really? Cine cameras and all. And uh, the place called McKee's Farm. Okay. Very famous up Craig Outlet. It's on mm -hmm. the way to the yards. Mm -hmm. And this is every Sunday we go up. And I had a boy on the back and he was on backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's scary enough going behind somebody. Yeah, he got on backwards. Why? And I went off. He was as, he was stupider than me. <laughs> off the jump, and this is maybe seventy mile an hour. Yeah, and on the main, you know, on the road. Yeah, off the jump, and I let go. I have no hands. Do you know hander? <laughs> but that was before, you know, the trick. The the boys were doing the stunts. Yeah. And you think, well, I'd never seen it done, but I knew I could do it. You know, I just <laughs> let go of the bars a bit, yeah. and then I knew I could do it. Yeah. So we were two up, jumping, both wheels off the deck, Fraps. and you get around a corner, mm -hmm. no helmets. Jesus. Different world. Nuts. Oh, I, Imagine. That's why I knew, you know, I was, <laughs> I had in the brain. <laughs> Imagine trying to get away with that now. Yeah. You, see, you always see them in, in Belfast, you know, if I'm heading up home around the mountain. I live around Dundrod, so Aye. if I'm going up that way, you see the kids and motocross bikes and sirens and behind them, then Aye. you know, and they're only out to have a wee bit of crack. I know, but I, the fields. you know, uh, the the best one we went to uh, down south, mm -hmm. Leitrim. Yeah. So I went to Leitrim, and uh, this was four courses in one. Right. It, it, the, the start and finish was like a Grand Prix. It was like a motorway. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a flat out, you know, the start and finish. Right. But in between, there was ju uh, a jump. Uh, there was, uh, you couldn't have got just a car past. Yeah. That was like a, tra a donkey track. Right. <laughs> uh, absolutely brilliant. But we, uh, we went down the first time it was uh, start the race. Uh, did a couple of laps in the car. Mm -hmm. And when I come round, there was this jump, and I said, "I can, I can go there. I get this particular jump mm -hmm. is one of the best, I think." I said, "Whenever I do that, the uh, what do you call it? Radar is going to pick me up. I knew I could go that that high and that far. Yeah, it's it's the best in the country. Yeah. I knew I could do this. Brilliant. And uh, so." Uh, we started our practice, mm -hmm. and I was the first one round in the 200, the first one on, on the road. Never been round the track, has the first one. Yeah. The boys are behind me. I come out of the herb and uh, flat out, mm -hmm. and uh, off I went. And sure enough, the the height and distance I got was, was something else. It just took off. It took off, <laughs> except <laughs> when it landed being a 200, yeah. there was very little trouble in it. I come down on both wheels Ooh. and a pogo stick at bottom. Yeah. Shot me up. I'd done everything but come off. So I mean, you, you have got the, it's about the width of a car. Yeah. The road. Yeah. And banks each side. And I'd done everything but, but come off. Sorry. And uh, I got away with it. Oh, did you do it the next lap? <laughs> not, not quite as bad. <laughs> I, I could do it better with the, the 350. Yeah. 
yeah. you know, because it was uh, more suspension. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I learned my lesson. But I remember Davy Gordon. Yes. You heard of, oh, I. Uh, big Davy Gordon, Gordon, big man. Yeah. He came off in a big way. Is that right? Well, I think he was helicoptered. Over the jump? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Because there was nowhere to go in you know, when the bike was. All over uh, the place. Bank to bank. Oof, scary. That was the that was the best, but I always thought uh, the the jumps I've been doing, I would do it. Uh, of course, it's what I wanted to do. Yeah, and I knew that's because all my mates mm -hmm. were were at it. So were, were, uh, it makes good for good photographs yeah, as yeah. well. Uh, There's a couple of photographs. Well, actually, there was one you posted last week, was it, or a couple of weeks ago? No, I see. I'm never. I'm on Facebook, but I've never yep. ever posted anything. You're not on it, yeah. You know, I've never, because, uh, you know, people send in, uh, you know, to reply mm -hmm. because of, I've got memory problems. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't spell too well. Mm -hmm. uh, commas, full stops. Oh, yeah. I get embarrassed, you know, because mm -hmm. of this. Um, so I've never posted anything. Yeah. The ones I've done, uh, Shane, Years ago, when I first started, two thousand and ten on Facebook, okay. he would take my phone mm -hmm. and pretend to be me. All oh, right, and say I'm Justin. You know, I love Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm into Bieber and all that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but most people knew it had to be from Shane because uh, he was like your I, PA. I I don't I've never ever put anything on Facebook. Okay, and uh, for whatever reason, that came up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know somebody sent it in. Okay. And it came up my face. I must have posted it. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly shit. Because <laughs> people were, as soon as I got it, I uh, tried to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I, I don't, I don't post on I, Facebook. Yeah. But it's, uh, that was one from four. It was. Oh, was it? Oh, right. Okay. Day. Yeah. I was that. Fab. I didn't know. I thought it was written. I actually thought it was Cookstown. But I, 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 I never read the comments, I, like, but that was no, from, nor did I. Yeah. As soon as I saw comments, I got I got rid of it. Yeah, yeah, because probably your phone was probably going nuts with oh, the dear. comments on. <laughs> and the, uh, uh, the the best the best jumps, <clears throat> you know, uh, there was uh, one on Tanrigi, and all my mates go, you know, and every a lot of people go to the jumps all the time. Yep, and. Uh, were betting what lap of it come off. Oh, really? Uh, uh, Tandra Gay. There was, uh, you know, the jump at the, what do you call it? Yeah. Tandra there's, Gay. There's a couple in there, bomb hole. Uh, I, I don't know. What I can't remember. Can't whatever remember it was. Um, Le the, leggy. Or no, that's fucking arm oil. I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, frig. <laughs> so whatever it was, uh, the boys were getting at this here, you know. Yeah. And I knew they were there, of course. But they were told off by uh, the Red Cross when they're oh right and he says stop begging that we uh, we follow on yeah you, know? <laughs> you end up giving them a job to do oh for real <laughs> well, you all of them yeah yeah person yeah like, first name basis <laughs> fantastic and your retirement yeah you, know, you didn't really well back then obviously you couldn't officially retire but Aye. it was. Was it ninety one or? Yeah, um, when Shane was conceived, I quit. Right. Okay. Uh, that was me. Yeah. Was done, done with it. And uh, it was only me and him, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. And the day was three. I said, um, "I fancy going back." Okay. Because I har hardly been out anywhere. Oh, right. And uh, but not to uh, get involved. You know, mm -hmm. do my own thing. Yep. And, uh, Back of the paddock. Yes. Cool. And the, the racing, uh, actual racing the bike is only a small part of it. Yeah. It's uh, the people involved. Mm -hmm. you know. So um, I got back with Wilfie again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, did, I did a few uh, a few races. Mm -hmm. And the first one was Cookstown. Okay. Uh, I started to lead that. And two boys come up inside of me and I let them go. You yeah. Know. Didn't want to get involved. Mm hmm and uh, then I started to win a couple and uh, I wasn't 
wasn't taking any chances whatsoever. Mm-hmm. This so was on the 350? This is in the 200. Oh, the 200 now. 200. Yeah. And uh, the 350, it was Shane had turned three or doing Dundrod. Okay. And Wilfie said about the 200, but Aubrey was riding the 350. Yeah. He had got hurt. And he said, you want to ride the 350? Oh, right, okay. But it was a completely different bike. Yeah. From when I got on it, there were smaller wheels. I think it was different brakes or whatever. Right. Completely different. Mm-hmm. And I had been on a 350 in a long time. Mm-hmm. So I went to Dundrod, and I say Shane was only three. And so I did the 200 practice, mm-hmm. 350 practice. And I always wanted, I was looking forward to uh, Dundrod. Yeah. You know, like, the best, one of the best courses. Oh, yeah. But I, uh, <clears throat> I did something uh, that I thought I'd never do again. I made a mistake. Right. And uh, I don't remember sitting on a bike. I don't remember being on the 200 or 350 during practice. Jeez. Uh, I just remember uh, going over the top of the bike. Yeah. You know, flu bog. Oh. And it's a, it's a corner that I knew it could go a bit quicker. Mm-hmm. But there was a bump in it. Yeah. And uh, I knew it always could go a wee bit quicker, but didn't bother. And uh, came to that and got high sided, and uh, that's that's that was the biggie. And uh, into the field or the floor? I, I hit the went over the top, and uh, that's it. I hit the road first, then yeah. then our silver tit into the in the field, and there's a um, like a shop there. Mm-hmm. Yes, know, yeah, uh, but it's full of boulders. Yeah, I... and. Uh, Oh, what was that? And after I came off, they filled that in. Fuck you know, sick, yeah. you've got to run off there, you know. Yeah. But it was too late then. Too late, yeah. <laughs> that sick. Me. That's always the way. I, I broke my neck on my back at Scarborough. And got tangled in the fence. You know what the hairpin there? Do you ever do Scarborough? No. No? I don't know. So I got tangled in the fence. I got about 140 mile an hour in through that. And the ferry next race meeting they had they had boarded the fence all up and it's still boarded now you know it's all plywood yeah and one of the mates he came off there as well and it was paul gartland actually and he messaged me and he says i can't thank you enough you saved my life because he came off the same place yeah. done the same thing but skated off the boards up the middle of the road Gee. and he got away with it i remember watching jimmy with him yeah he came over, he came off, broke mm-hmm. his leg, but it was filled in by then. Right, okay. Yeah. So that saved him then. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we've done something good for the sport. Uh, so. Well, <laughs> in a way, I don't. Uh, um, see, when you take away all the hazards mm-hmm. that you can, they're going, they're going quicker. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, uh, I think a road race is, you should leave it all alone. You should, it should be just a road race. Yeah, you know where, uh, what do you call him, Guy Martin came off? Yeah. Like, uh, before Ireland. then, yeah. Yeah. He, he walked away from that, but before you wouldn't. I know. He would have been in through the trees. Yeah, and, yeah. But he also blamed, he blamed that crash on the organisers taking the hedges away and the trees away. He says, if they didn't do that, he wouldn't have went as hard. Exactly, that's, a, that's you know? what I'm saying, yeah. So, as you say, just leave it as a road race. You know, it's all right resurfacing and stuff, but you can only go so far. Look at the TT. Mm-hmm. Like, they've resurfaced most of the track within the last three or four years, and the speeds are scary now. Like, you know. I think they're all going for fastest laps, and mm-hmm. they want the, uh, the circuit wants the, the name of the fastest road, road, road race, race in the world. Yeah. 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 It's scary. Like, still, it's, it's a shame Dundrod isn't running anymore. I. It's <clears throat> controversial. Mm-hmm. There's to me the scumbags, whatever they are, mm-hmm. have got brought the sport that's knees. Yeah, yeah, it's the sad. greatest sport in the world. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've been racing since uh, the sixties, mm-hmm. and uh, north and south, and, and the worst of the troubles. Mm-hmm. And all my years, I've never heard, you know, 
north and south, you yeah. go everywhere. Never been a, a bad word no. about that, all that crap. I know, I know. I don't know what, like, you, as you say, it's been through so much with the troubles and, you know, everything and war and they're just continuing the race and yeah. some greedy uh, so-and-sos, you know, are putting an end to it, basically. And uh, it seems they've got away with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and well, I, I think of, uh, you know, what they've done to bring it to this knees mm-hmm. and uh, the people, uh, I regret I never give anything back to the sport. Right. Um, I, I came to me by, um, I was always late with entries. <laughs> yeah. You know, final, you know, the, the day you should have had your entry in. Yeah. You, I left it, it was too late to post. Mm-hmm. So I'd go to the, uh, what do you call it? i go to the event. Um, uh, or, no, people's homes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ivan, uh, Ivan and in, Davison yeah. and Sylvia. And Sylvia, yeah. And so I, I would I'd go over there and bring me in. Um, I shouldn't have been there. Mm-hmm. You know, this is yeah. their time. Yeah. I've been in our school for doing yeah. this. <laughs> but I'm, I'm giving them over the money. Mm-hmm. And the phone's gone yeah. twice when I was there. Same boys looking to uh, get their entries in or whatever. Late entries, yeah. What kind of life is that? Aye. Aye. And they did it all their lives. Constant. You know, um, and everybody liked that. Secretaries of clubs. Yeah. Oh, they all did that. And uh, it was like a me, mm-hmm. you know, if I just had a post of it. Yeah. You know. I would have saved a lot of hassle. Yeah. But and I think when I say I didn't give anything back to the sport, it's just um, like a lot of guys who go to, the, especially especially road race, but the short mm-hmm. circuits as well, mm-hmm. and you pack up at the end of the day, and you're driving out. I never put a bail up in my life. I never helped. Yeah, yeah. You know, never put a bail up or take them one down. Mm-hmm. There's, there's people, you know, when we go out, m- maybe that night, yeah, getting everything done, and the next day, and they're still working away. Yes, and, yeah, you know, right. and I just can't believe that the work that went in. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, that everybody involved in putting a race on. Yeah, uh, it's scary. Like I felt, I used to help uh, Dundraud set up the bales and stuff. Yeah, so I would have set the track up, uh, done my weeks racing, and I always felt really bad because, as you say, I packed up and it could have been pissing down we were in and we went home got a chinese put our feet up whatever and no one that them poor sods around the yeah. track are still taking the bales down and stuff yeah. i would have put them up but i never took them down you're like a full week's racing right. and you're absolutely destroyed you're wrestling super bikes around you know and, but it did i felt bad like passing them as you say but i that's my regret yeah uh, I, I didn't I didn't put anything back into the sport. Mm-hmm. What what would you have done? Like marshalling or No, I couldn't like? marshal, I couldn't look at anybody at sort. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they like a marshalling and the uh Red Cross or whatever or, you know the Oh the, yes the the, the the paramedics. Yes, paramedics. They're out there from a crack of dawn yeah. till late at night mm-hmm. and could be pissing down. Yeah. And they can be getting given grief. Mm-hmm. I know. You know, take on the take a load of crap mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know what I would uh, like bales I could have taken bales down and mm-hmm. put them up and taken them down ah oh, yeah hard out work too yeah hawking them about like. I got I was lucky well I wasn't I wasn't lucky but I fell into you know the commentary sort of yes. thing you know yeah because when I came off my last crash at Armoy um, I've had worse crashes but that one scared me. It was just, I don't know what it was. but So I quit. I actually retired before I hit the ground. I said, no. Yeah. If I get through yeah. this, I'm done. So I went back to the van. And it, it turned out actually that um, I broke my leg. <laughs> yeah, right. So I had, to go to the, I had to go to the hospital. And I was like, no, I'm going to stay. I want to watch the racing. You know, it's the, it was during COVID, the only race that we're going to have this year, I'm staying. So the mate, he took me in a wheelbarrow 
down <laughs> down to watch the race and sitting on a wheel, wheelbar watching the racing and he says right we'll pack up and we'll go home tonight um, and he says no there's racing tomorrow I want to watch it too so he wheeled me about in the bar that night and all <laughs> in this yeah, bloody yeah. wheelbar <laughs> but I was thinking the whole time there I was like what am I going to do if I retire what you know I was trying to find something for yeah. myself to do and unfortunately, uh, George McCann he passed away. Right, yeah. The the commentator, and I already I touched on it a wee bit, you know, with motocross or uh, super moto, and, and they asked me to do it then at Kurgison, and then just continued to do it, you know. But that yeah, takes yeah, it takes my mind off yeah. not racing, you know, which is and a sort of putting a wee bit back into the sport, yeah. you know, and that's why we do this as well, you know. It's it's more of it's making people aware of the racing over here and what's happening to it. Aye. And all that history, everything, unfortunately, is probably, it's going to be all washed down yeah. the drain, you know. It's a, to me, it's the best sport in the world. It's a mugs game. Yeah. yeah. To, me, to me, it is a mugs game. It is. But the best sport in the world. By far. You know, Without a doubt. And there's, I think it's going to could disappear. I, I don't know why anybody affords a working man trying to get out. I know. The, the price of the bikes now, like there's even the short circuit events, like some of them super bikes are 80, 90,000 pounds to run around Kurgisland and Bishop's Court. Um, but that's what they do, that's what they love. So, they, you know, they're going to continue to do it, well, as long as they can. But there's the, the, the thing of uh, the, the Ulster Grand Prix, to me, that was the best. Yeah. Hands down better than Northwest. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a, uh, touching a few things, mm -hmm. the what they did to the Grand Prix mm -hmm. to, to bring it down. I think uh, people that uh, fundraised for it, mm -hmm. you know, selling, you know, you you went to that. People are selling badges. That's right. Yeah, for years upon years. Yeah, you know, and things they got there fundraising for the club. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Northwest. Uh, as uh, to me, it's a short circuit, mm -hmm. but I always think of uh, uh, Paul Cranston. Yeah, you know that. Oh, yeah. Paul Cranston is my hero. Yeah, he's been racing since racing started. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, was there something he was told to get out of there? That's right. Yep. Oh, gee. he was told that uh, his bike was too old. It or was whatever. too old. That's what it was. Or, and I remember one time before, actually, and, you no, know, he had the red ferns and stuff. Yeah. And there was one year, uh, they, were wee, they, were, they were a wee bit tatty. Yeah, and, always were. Yeah. And and him. And I know. <laughs> he's he's a, just brilliant. Yep, an absolute legend. Oh. And they told him, that bike's not going on the grid. And he was like, oh, why? You know, he's a big gentleman, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And oh, why not? He's... And, the marshal or the scrutiny or whoever, look at the state of it. And he actually, was it Wilson Craig? Right? Yeah. Or Padgett's, one of the two, actually lent him uh, ferns for the week. And the same thing happened. He says, oh no, that bike's too old, can't do it. But they let him go through practice and they says, no, you're not racing. Yeah. And he had to get out of the, out of the, the pits. Yeah. Yeah. And that man is a, an absolute legend. Yep. And I remember going, maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and he was still doing the business. Yeah. And uh, he, he could walk through the park and nobody look at him. I know. And you think, I don't know who that man is. I know. And an absolute legend. I know. It's what racing has, you yeah. know, he's brought racing on, basically. Yeah. You know, a bit like yourself, and and he's still at it. Like. And he's, is it his brother-in-law? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know his brother-in-law? There was some guy always with him. Right. Oh, from, yes, yes. From a, uh, the the start of racing. Yeah, yeah. Still with him. Still with him. Say. I know. I remember him at Tannery one year. Uh, you know, he's always late. Yeah. He's the yeah. last man into the paddock. Because he goes around and he delivers his coal or whatever, you know, but Aye. first thing in the morning. And he came into the paddock. We helped him down, helped the bike off the back of the... He was driving a flatbed lorry. And the bike, the 600, was strapped to the bulkhead of this flatbed lorry i thought you are an absolute legend an absolute legend and as you say he's 
like he's still running. Like he got thirteenth or something there a couple of weeks ago at Curtison, yeah. you know, on, on Superbike. Wait, he's it, riding John yeah. Burroughs Superbike, all but unreal. It'd be like me, you know, you put a a microphone in front of him, he's gone. Aye, ah, yeah. He run. Yeah, but an absolute gentleman, yeah. and he he lived at the the bush. Um, Aye. Track you never done no. The Bush no. only came about later, isn't it? But what an absolute legend! What about um, Shane? Did you never push him to the bikes, or did he have any interest in motorbikes at all? Or? Well, he tells a story. Uh, um, the last thing I wanted, uh, my brother Colin. Yeah. Um, I got him. I think a trial bike. Okay. You know, he always came with me to the race. Mm-hmm. Uh, since he's no age, and I thought I'll get him a trials bag, yeah, and keep him off, off uh, the roads. The roads, yeah, and uh, didn't work, of course. <laughs> but ironic in that, he'd be on the. I remember being on the the, the temple, mm-hmm. and uh, it's usually it was summer's day. Yeah, you know, uh, we're out in the line, and I, I got somebody holding my bag, mm-hmm. and I. Walk back to him, and I'm pointing the finger. No, I said I'm frigging trying to win this race. Don't I don't want to see you land the heads or anything. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. He never come off the, the RNA. Uh huh. You know, <laughs> he never come off. It was if oh, anybody was coming off, it, it was, was me. You, <laughs> you know, uh, so I was uh, here. His head screwed on, but but Shane um, had him into golf, mm-hmm. into football. Uh, was, I didn't want him any, anywhere near bikes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I got a land with my mate's bike. Um, my mate Keith had a bike. I never had a bike for the road. Mm-hmm. Right. I had okay. no interest. And I uh, got a land this uh, 500 Honda. Got chain on the back. Yeah. And we got a land of helmets and uh, took them up Craig Antlin. Mm-hmm. A quick burst, I was going to say, easy 90. But it probably was only right. sixty. Aye, right. You know? <laughs> so uh, I took him, and he's hanging on for dear life, uh-huh. and I, you know he's gripping with his with his le- He's his squeezing. Knees. Yes, <laughs> squeezing. Uh, I stood up. Now this was we're, we're talking in you know, sixty yeah, yeah. mile an hour. <laughs> I stood up, put my hands out, and oh. he's screaming and like I a on pig. The back. Squealing like a pig. Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, doing a wheelie and hitting the brakes <laughs> and putting it on its side. I was squealing and, myself. I was like, <laughs> and, uh, but he was saying, I was to put him off. If he ever had, if he ever thought of getting on a bike, I was to put him off. But he had no, he told me. He said, I had no intentions of going on a bike. <laughs> he didn't want to go on a bike anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you just wanted to scare yeah. the shit out of him. Because uh, I thought if, um, it's it's a lot of like father like son, yeah. You know, yeah. and great of the it's okay they're gonna if they want to do racing, mm-hmm. short circuits, yep. okay. But then, you know, they're there's, there the road. There's always that risk, isn't yeah, there? Uh, I don't know how you, uh, people do it. I don't know. You know, know. like I've my wee man, he's only five now, but he has. You know, he loves his tractors, his trucks, and stuff like that. You know, but he has this wee thing. Where every now and again he takes a big interest in motorbikes, and I don't know if I don't know what I'd do if he says, "Daddy, can I race many motors or something?" I'm like, you know, because I was there before, Aye. you know. But I think if it does come to that, and uh, say your child wants to go racing, mm-hmm. I'd be if Shane had wanted to go racing, mm-hmm. I'd have been behind him a hundred percent. Yeah, the last thing I'd wanted to do is see him race. But I'd be behind him one hundred percent and make sure he's yes. safe. Yeah, and there's someone there that knows yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. We'll try and keep <laughs> the kids away from yeah. it as much yeah. as we can. Like, but it was I was the same. Like, started many motos, and my mum didn't want that. She says, right, came around as long as it's only many motos. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Came home one day with. Uh, we actually bought a bike off Joe Phillips. Oh, uh, yes, Phillip. Joe, yeah, yeah. Bought the 125 off him. It used to be a 200. And came home with it. My mum, she went berserk. Right. As long as it's only track racing, 
okay, snuck out one one year. It was my first year at Dundraud, and I said, they're like, basically, I'm going to Dundraud, going to do a parade lap. But of course, that was when they were they done it on BBC Radio Ulster. Yeah. And she had the radio on and heard my name. I was riding a Ducati at the time. And she heard my name being mentioned in the race. And she flipped. Absolutely flipped. But it was the only way I was able to go road racing. Aye. You know, because it's sort of, I didn't promise her I wasn't going to do it. But I had my fingers crossed, like, mm-hmm. you know. But that was the only way I could go out. But as you say, you'd rather them let you know so you can help yeah. as best you can. You know? But there's no fear of Shane going out racing on him, is there? No, he, he's, <laughs> he's got a brain. Well, like his dad. Brilliant, brilliant. Listen, Dennis, you're an absolute legend. Oh, too uh, kind. Of, no, you I'm, are. I'm a dummy. Oh, not at all. No, if anybody was in two minds whether I was stupid or not, I've confirmed it. <laughs> not at all. No, the things that I, I used to get up to was yeah. crazy. Brilliant. And you're, you're looking fit and strong and... I'm lucky. Um, I was always into fitness. Yeah. Um, I got fortunately this leg um, at Dundrod. Mm-hmm. I went in between up the inside of two boys, mm-hmm. and uh, the uh, come in tight. I put my knee in that grass bird, and it was a square set stone. I thought I lost the leg, mm. and uh, it was a year and a half working. Different operations and it's no kneecap, but it's uh-huh. it's all. Uh, Stevie Smith, his uh, brother-in-law, was working as a junior doctor in the, the Royal. Yeah, and we all got caught at the Royal, you know, from Dundrod. Yeah, anybody had an accent, mm-hmm. and he said, uh, "You know, he mate was a lucky boy." The two doctors were talking whether to take it off above the knee or not. Jesus, so that was nineteen seventy-four. So it's all. It's really only for starting on. Right, okay. And uh, I haven't said that. Uh, after I got it, I was able to um, run. I'd never been to, a, what do you call it, a gym. Yeah. Because in our day, nobody was into fitness. You know, nobody went to a gym, not like the kids oh, in yeah. our day as I yeah. do it. Uh, but I was always a runner. And I thought, the fitter you are mm-hmm. in racing, if you have an accent, you'll come back quicker and stronger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, In theory. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, mm. I've no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Your leg getting... Aye, aye. With, so uh, you don't do any squats or anything like that? It's just... No, um, never. Um, I can't do my legs. Yeah. I go to the gym yep. five times a week. Mm-hmm. and uh, I five, five times a week? Aye. Uh, Jesus but Christ. Because, uh, unfortunately, I was... Uh, uh, was a mechanic mm-hmm. and up until 86 there was asbestos in the brakes that's yeah and uh, in those days we left the car in to get serviced usually uh, there were drum brakes mm-hmm. and you blew them out the yeah. dust and, um, asbestos in it and you're breathing it in and it's yeah Jesus it's got me and, uh, so when I go to the gym it's maybe for an hour and a half, but I can only do three exercises. Okay. I run out of steam. Yeah. And my, my lungs aren't, not much left of the lungs. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, I do an exercise and I have to, uh, if I'm doing a set, it mm-hmm. takes me so long to, to get re- my breath back. To recover, to do another set then. So, uh, and even the walk and talk at the same time, mm-hmm. not great. Right. So I've got an electric bike. Mm-hmm. I've had about five years, mm-hmm. and uh, there's three of us generally go out. Um, they go out with two twats. <laughs> their, their bikes are about seven thousand pound each. Oh Jesus! Electric great. bikes, but they're young boys. Yeah, you know, yeah. a few years younger than me. Mm-hmm. And but <laughs> they hardly go out of North Down. Is that right? Whereas I get the bike, put it on the train. Yeah. I'm over Donegal, down south, Brilliant. all over the place. Brilliant. Um, but before this, uh, it was only about eight months ago, it came up me with a vengeance. Right. Before that, I could go to, I got up at six in the morning, mm-hmm. left Hollywood, went up to Castle Rock. Yeah. I'm on battery. Jesus. Uh, I only used the battery uh, when I came to Hill. Oh, I wanted yeah. to put the effort. But it all goes through one leg. 
Well, I right enough, yeah. There's only for starting on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but now I have, I've got a spare battery and I'm battery all the way. But right. Up. Getting out. At least you're getting out. Yeah. Getting out of the house. Right. And what are you doing with yourself now anyway? Just gym and... Yeah, gym and uh, I was going to say, I've done over 10,000 men on the, the bike. 10,000 miles. Whoa. But because of the freaking weather we're having. I know. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be going out if it's raining yeah. or... If I'm away somewhere and it rains, all right, if you get caught out, you get caught out. But mm -hmm. I could be two hours in the train. Yeah. You know, and you don't want to be, you know, soaking. I know. Uh, back right enough. For two hours. Sitting on your drenched and. Yeah. I'm sick. What's the plans for you in the future then? And are you going to turn with Shane or? No, I, um, it's, I don't go to many shows because it's sort of, uh, I've heard them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, a lot, a lot of the, you know, I, I know all the guys. Yeah. There were yeah. about maybe about ten, ten guys that go to different events. Brilliant. Um, the, the when he's at the, the big ones, the SS Arena. Yes. Yeah. He's got a couple there. And mm -hmm. I'll be at those. I'll have to go, see one sometime. Need it's to get, get a, it's getting the bloody tickets is the problem. Aye, aye. <laughs> well, I say he's he's the hardest worker out there. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, he it's, deserves it all. Oh, aye, yeah. Just right. So, so funny. <laughs> He's so funny. Like, uh, but I was, uh, I'd say, about 25% of his material, but yeah. more of it was complimentary. <laughs> yeah, I did watch that part. It was funny. Uh, it was it was very funny. But of, more so for you, of course. <laughs> well, I went, as I say, um, I thought you know, it was the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Two things I've been, uh, I know fear. I just want to say, mm -hmm. uh, it'd be hard like us. Um, I've never felt, f I don't feel fear much. Uh, you know, yeah. it'd be hard to scare me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just remember this. But uh, Tony Harvey, you know Tony? Oh, yeah, He's yeah. the incident officer. Yeah, incident, yeah, yeah. Or he was, uh, he might still be. Mm -hmm. Tony came to me, came to the door and... Uh, few years ago mm -hmm. and said would I would I say a few words at the House of Sport okay because uh, there were St John Amelins and maybe somebody else I can't remember yes yeah uh, they were having the talk boys were giving the talk and uh, it was put the fear of God the hardest thing that, I've ever done in my life is that right fear put the fear of God in just standing me. up there needing to yeah because as you can see you know Mm -hmm. I'm crabbing myself. I'm useless at this. Well, and you've talked uh, for over uh, an hour now. You're all right. <laughs> there's boys, you know, that's no problem. Them, it mm -hmm. comes easy. Mm -hmm. And it causes my memory problems. I can't concentrate. Mm -hmm. So I had no no notes. Right, I okay. Thought, I'm just going to say what comes out, what you yeah. know, just yeah. from my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew, I had an idea what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, Doctor Fred, Fred Sorley, got yeah. up. He said everything that I thought I was going to say. Oh, right. I said, oh, gee, you know, <laughs> I'm getting. I, was, I thought I was going to be sick. You know, just yeah. waiting to be sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I, I just got up and I, I threw him a, you know, I, I said, "This is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. Mm -hmm. I can't string two words together. Um, I'm, I'm ready to faint here." Right. Um. So I, I threw myself at their feet, you know, yeah. I, I was up front and uh, I just, you know, thanked them for what it's like from a writer's point of view. Yeah. Because years ago, you were scooped. Mm -hmm. you, were, you know, anybody come off on the road, to scoop, or regardless, yeah. uh, short circuit, spectators would scoop them. And drag them off the road, yeah. Justin. and the race went on. There was yeah. no red flags. Jesus. And... Uh, so I, I knew if I had an accident, mm -hmm. I'm in safe hands. Yeah. You know, yeah. north and south. 100%. You know, yeah. I'm in safe hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, so professional, mm -hmm. you know, uh, all the medical people. And um, like it was just, I talked a load of crap. I didn't talk much. Yeah. It was just to uh, uh, thank them. And I knew, I knew I made a dick of myself, but I knew... The felt for me yeah. because uh, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. And the only reason I did it was I owed them. 
Yeah. You know. But I they don't see it that way. Like, you know, the paramedics and all, is, it's their job and it's amazing what they do. Uh-huh. And as you say, you feel a lot safer at the racing. Yeah, no, yeah. Knowing yeah. that these amazing people are there, you know, help, helping us uh-huh. when we're being dicks and bouncing up the road. Uh-huh. <laughs> but listen, Dennis, thank you so much My for, pleasure, God. for coming and us. We'll have to get together sometime again in the future. Right, I'd run, I'd run the races, yeah. Right. And we can talk more about Sound it. Gentlemen, Dennis, Sound thank job. you. Thanks, my mate. Good man.